Timothy. So some long awaited yoga videos which have been um, put off for quite a long time and um, in this climate of fear it's not nice to create any more fear around life is it? Um, and there is a little bit of fear that comes up for me creating these videos but I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to do this, to have the time and the space uh, and also people who are willing to listen. So thank you for sharing with me and I hope that this may help you. So we're going to practice a few really simple breathing exercises to help calm the sense of fear that might be around at this time. And the first one is really, really simple. Just belly breathing, deep belly breathing. We tend to breathe up in the upper part of the chest when we're in that panic state. And when we're breathing into the upper part of the chest, we get more panic. So it's a self-perpetuating cycle. So find a comfortable seat or lie down. You can lie down for this, it's absolutely fine. I'm gonna stay seated because it will be better for you to be able to hear me. Um, but it's also really nice to lie down to help you feel really relaxed. Lying down sometimes makes you feel a little bit less focused. Um, so if you prefer to stay seated, then just make sure that you feel really comfortable. So find a cushion put underneath your sitting bones. You could have it quite high if you find it uncomfortable sitting cross-legged. You don't have to sit cross-legged. You could sit kneeling and then just take lots of padding underneath so that you can sit a little bit taller. And then just let yourself settle. So in whatever position you've chosen, close the eyes. And let yourself sink into the support of the ground. So if you're seated, feel the connection of your sitting bones dropping down into the ground. If you're lying down, then perhaps just running the mind through the back of the body and feeling the parts of your body that are connected to the earth. And allowing yourself to kind of sigh into that support. So you can literally take a sigh here, exhaling out of the mouth. And we'll practice a few more sighs together Breathing in naturally, just allowing the inhalation to arrive either through the nose or the mouth. And as you exhale, sighing the air out. <sighs> Making as much noise as you would like. So one benefit of us doing this interactive yoga is that we can't hear one another. You can only hear me. So if you want to make a big noise, it can really help to let go of some of the sense of fear or agitation or anxiety in the body. You might be surprised by the kind of noises that come out of the body, but just let them come out. It's all movement of energy. It's all what we want. We want the energy to move. It's the stagnation, this holding on that makes us feel really anxious. So just a few more sighs, letting the air out, letting any sounds out, and just allowing the body to completely sink down into the earth, that stability, that support that rises up to meet you. And then taking the hands onto your lower belly, And noticing if there's any movement in that space. It might be that there's very little movement in the belly. Maybe your breath is focused on this upper part of the chest. Don't worry, don't try to change anything. Just notice what you notice without any attachment. Continuing to sigh the breath out of the mouth so that we can really let go of any stagnation, any old air that we don't need in the body. And then you'll find that you naturally breathe a little bit deeper. As you continue to relax and settle and focus on the exhalation. 
the inhalation will naturally start to deepen. And perhaps you'll start to feel a little bit more movement into your belly. Allowing the connection, the warmth of your hands support and nourish your belly. Feeling the compassion of your touch. Feeling the gentle rise and fall of the belly as you breathe in silence. seeing if you could just allow a little bit more movement of your hands as your belly barrels with that expanding inhalation and allow your whole body to release every time you exhale with a sigh Keeping your left hand where it is, take your right hand onto your heart centre. Can you feel the beat of your heart beneath your palm? Can you feel the warmth of your hand comforting your upper chest? Allow any emotion to arise and fall away with your sighing exhalation. Feeling the whole of your torso, your upper body breathing in and out without any effort at all. Next time that you take a breath in, see if you can allow your lower hand to expand with that barreling breath into your belly. And then take a pause. Breathe in a little bit more and feel your rib cage move out to the side. And then take a moment to pause. With the last little bit of space that you have in your lungs, take another gulp of breath into the upper chest and then a full exhalation out of your mouth <sighs> letting all of the air go this is our three part breath practice that we're going to be doing today so you can limit the pauses in between the inhalations if that feels better for you they don't have to be so long if it feels a bit challenging for you to hold your breath then don't hold the breath at all. You can just direct the inhalation into the lower belly, into the sides of the ribs, and into the upper chest before exhaling completely out of the mouth. So breathing into your lower belly, breathing into your rib cage, Breathing into the upper chest and exhale fully. <sighs> Inhaling into the lower belly. Inhaling into the sides of the ribs. Inhale into the upper chest and a full exhalation. into the lower belly, into the ribs, into the upper chest, and a full sighing exhalation. Continue this breath in your own pace. 
So if your breath feels a little bit shorter than mine or a little bit longer, then just adapt to whatever your lung capacity is today. They don't have to be really deep breaths. The focus of this is breathing into the three parts of the mm -hmm. torso, controlling the breath and allowing it to come a little bit deeper into the body. Every time you exhale, allow the exhalation to be full and deep out of the mouth so that you sigh all of that stagnant, unnecessary air out of the body. And you can start again with that full space in your lung capacity to breathe a little bit deeper. We're going to practice this in silence for another 10 rounds. Don't worry about the count too much. I'll tell you when we're finished. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are, continuing that three-part breath, deep into the belly, to the sides of the ribs, the upper chest, and a full exhalation. We'll mm -hmm. continue together in silence, allowing as much noise or air to come out of your lungs with the exhalation as you like. Mm -hmm. Notice if you've tensed up in the shoulders as you continue this breath. And just allow your shoulders to relax. Let your body sink into the support of the earth. And practice your breath without any effort. Letting go on the exhale. Practice two more rounds at your own pace. And when you finish your final round, just allow your hands to drop beside the body, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the whole body into the support of the earth. And just breathing normally, in and out, without any effort. Just noticing how you feel. Noticing what the breath is like in its natural state. And then if you're lying down, gently open your eyes and find a seated position. If you're seated and you need to shift a little bit to be comfortable once again into a different position, I'll just stretch out the legs, then go ahead. We're going to practice a pranayama technique. Pranayama is the uh, yoga of breathing. 
And again, it's another way to control the breath, to restore the balance in the body. Really simple technique. I'll talk you through the first few rounds. So you can take your right hand, I'm not mirroring you, onto your face so that your index finger and your middle finger come into contact with your third eye. So that's the space in between the eyebrows. There's a great pressure point here that's great for calming the mind. You might find yourself massaging the space if you're feeling a little bit stressed out, and that's for good reason. All of the pressure points around here help to relieve the tension from the mind. So just gently allowing the index finger and the middle finger to press into that space. And then you're gonna take your thumb over your right nostril, closing off the right nostril. So if you find that you have one blocked nostril, it's pretty common, or both blocked nostrils, if you have both blocked nostrils, then you can breathe through the mouth, but you can imagine the flow of air through the nostrils. If you just have one blocked nostril, then just don't press that nostril firmly with your thumb or your fourth finger, just a very light press. And then again, you can imagine the air flowing through. If you're lucky enough to have both nostrils clear, then great, press firmly down onto your right nostril with your thumb and take a breath in through your left nostril. Close off your left nostril, so both nostrils are closed, and take a pause before releasing the thumb and exhaling through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril, keeping the left nostril closed off. And then hold both nostrils down for a pause. Exhale out of the left nostril, releasing the fourth finger and then inhale through this same nostril. Holding both of the nostrils for a moment, exhale out of the right, releasing the thumb. And then inhale through the right nostril, pause, and exhale out of the left, closing off the right. You can close your eyes if that helps you to focus, breathing in through the left. Hold both nostrils to pause and exhale out of the right. Inhale through the same nostril. Pause. Exhale out of the left. Inhale through the left. Hold both nostrils to pause and exhale out of the right. Mm -hmm. Continue with this breath, breathing in through that same nostril, pausing and exhaling out of the opposite. Inhaling here, pausing before exhaling. Notice if your shoulders have become tight or tense as you continue to breathe. Just allow them to relax, allow your spine to be straight, your hips sinking into the ground, your head floating to the sky. Allow the breath to be nice and easy. We don't need to put too much effort into this practice. We're just breathing in and out of opposite nostrils, restoring some balance and sense of calm in the mind and the body. Last breath. And as you exhale, just allow the hands to drop down into your lap. Let the shoulders release, close the eyes if they're not closed already and just take a moment to pause. In stillness, breathing normally through the nostrils or through the mouth. Noticing what you notice. And then we're gonna continue with the breath, but this time introducing a count. We're gonna keep it really simple today and we'll just do a few more rounds. So when you're ready, again, taking your index finger and your middle finger onto your third eye, closing off your right nostril, 
and breathing in for the count of five. So breathing in for one, two, three, four, five. Holding for one, two, three, four, and five. Exhaling out of the right nostril for one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling for five, two, three, four, five. Holding for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale out the left for one, two, three, four, five. Breathing in for one, two, three, four, five. Holding for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale at the right for one, two, three, four, five. And continuing. So I'm not going to count I'm going to allow you to count to your own breath. If five feels too much for you, then just lower the amount of counts. Make it three. Maybe don't pause. Just count for five inhalations and five exhalations without the pause in between. Whatever works best for you. We're going to continue with this breath for another 10 rounds together in silence. And again, make this manageable for you. We're just breathing in and out of opposite nostrils. There's no pressure. Feel the connection between your fingers and your third mm -hmm. eye, just allowing a little bit of weight from your head to drop into those fingers, taking the pressure off the practice and just continuing to breathe at your own pace. Practicing one more round. And on your final exhalation, just allow your hands to drop back down into your lap, keeping the eyes closed, allowing the shoulders to sink. Allowing your whole body to sink into the ground and your head floats up, your spine is long, breathing normally. Noticing how your mind feels after your practice. Noticing what your breath is like. Noticing how you're breathing. And then 
and bringing your palms together in front of the heart center. Feeling the warmth of your palms. Perhaps feeling the beat of your heart beneath your thumbs. yourself some gratitude, some thanks for taking the time to breathe a little bit deeper, finding a sense of calm. Just take one last breath in together and a full sighing breath to let go. Namaste.